Seconds out. Now it's Ezra's time to, to prove he's on that level. Well, it was against Chad Sugden that he won the English title for the second time. Chad Sugden was a, you know, very much a fighter on the up. It was a Chad Sugden show. He was the home fighter. And McIntyre just reacted over the top to a lazy jab in that fight and, and knocked Sugden out. He couldn't get up from it. So he does carry power, and Ezra Taylor will need to be wary. I was going to say, them shots there that landed on the glove, it did sound a bit heavy. That, that McIntyre landed. He has got heavy Chad hands. Sugden, I'm sure that's who drew with um, Craig Richards. Yeah, he's, he's, he's also boxed. And, and yeah. then boxed Shaqan for the British. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, good fighters. Chad Sugden. Nice jab there from Ezra and a good left hook after that. A left hook landed right on the top of the head of McIntyre. Might have rattled right his head a little bit because he's going backwards. Just having a look now, Ezra. He will, he will need to be on his P's and Q's in, in a fight like this. Nice one two there from Ezra. Gets through with the one two. Just shaping up. Had to ship one there. Oh, lovely <laughs> left hook there. Huge golfing experience between these two fighters. 27 fights Joel McIntyre has had. This is only the seventh fight for Ezra Taylor. McIntyre's been around for years, over 10 years he's been a pro. Ezra Taylor came to the game very, very late on. But he does have that confidence, he does have that swag. Does, you can see he believes in himself. Oh. Yeah, he's relaxed. Recently teamed up with Angel Fernandez in Loughborough, training alongside Richard Riakpour, Fraser Clark, iron sharpening iron in that gym. He was recently up in the Spanish mountains as well with Daniel Dubois, who's part of that camp. Enjoy sparring heavier men. He's just having a look here at Joel McIntyre. Comes around with the left hook. But McIntyre has that experience. He knows what to look for. And oh, they the trading left hooks. Both guys there. Ezra yeah, just keeping forward. Nice jab there from Ezra. Just trading left hooks. Ezra Taylor backs his power. And that's the... Seconds out. Round two. Well, second round here of an eight-rounder, Ezra the Cannon Taylor in a step-up fight against Joel McIntyre, former two-time English light heavyweight champion. And the referee will probably split them up here, bring them apart. Got a bit messy in the clinch. Oh, just missed mm, with that uppercut just there, Ezra Taylor. Whisker away with that uppercut. Oh, nice left to the body there from Taylor, and then a jab off of that. Boxing well here, Taylor. You just got to be careful he doesn't get clipped with any shots. Nice little jab there again. Well, it's just, in a sense, the Chad Sugden fight. Chad Sugden was also boxing very well against Joel McIntyre, but he found himself unstuck late on in the fight. Mm. He will be there all, all night, Joel McIntyre, if you let him. Nice jab. Lovely jab. jab. There again there from Taylor. Oh. Just missed the uppercut again and... Blocked left hook there from McIntyre. Just touching him with the jab as well, Ezra Taylor. But he's always been a good, uh, shown good movement, McIntyre, in his career. Moves the upper body well. I mean, tonight he's getting caught with the jab a little bit too much. He's trying to counter off that, off that left hook, though, but Ezra Taylor's got that right hand up nice and tight. looking to find that range at the moment. I think the pair of them. McIntyre keeps getting caught with that left hook as he comes in. Um, every, time he, every time he comes in, 
Taylor just takes that little half step back and hits him with that check hook. I think he needs to be careful of that. Just over a minute to go here in the second round. Oh, there Ooh, we go. The uppercut landed within uppercut the clinch there. there. Yeah. Good shots there from McIntyre. Good right hand right there. Hand, partially blocked there from McIntyre. I mean, this fight hasn't yet caught fire, down. but I think it will very soon. Good double jab there from Taylor. Stabbed to the body as well. Yeah. Just touching him with, with a few of these shots, finding the range, Taylor. Yeah. Just keeps missing with those uppercuts. Mm. Just literally by an inch. Probably needs to get in a little bit closer when he throws them. Oh, oh shot big right McIntyre. hand. It's the right hand you're talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, that is the right hand that had Chad Sugden in all sorts of trouble. Got to be careful of that, Taylor. If he doesn't want to get overconfident and start catching oh, shots like yeah. that. Well, it was a lazy left jab that uh, that led. Third round here at the OVO Arena Wembley. Ezra Taylor and Joel McIntyre. Fighting this brilliant, brilliant light heavyweight division that we've got in this country. Anthony Yard, of course, back in action later on tonight, seen by many as the pick of the bunch in the country. Probably the number one at light heavyweight is Ezra Taylor here. He's looking to climb the ranks himself. He's got his hands full, though, with Joel McIntyre. And again, he gets through with that right hand. They're both still throwing within the clinch. I don't know if the referee will bring them apart because they are throwing punches. And he does bring them apart. And Taylor just looking for his range there, just having a look. Sh shifting his feet. Just the second eight rounder scheduled in the career of Ezra Taylor. He's extended the distance last time out against Khalid Gradier, his first eight rounder. Said he wanted to get the rounds in. That was a jump from four to eight rounds for him. Wanted to know he could do the rounds, but doesn't necessarily want to do those rounds again tonight. <laughs> How are you seeing this fight so far, Denzel? We're, we're a minute left in the third round. I mean, Ezra Taylor's just picking his shots every now and then. McIntyre manages to sneak a little, you know, a, a cheeky shot in here and there, but nothing that's bothering Taylor. Taylor's landing more shots, he's throwing more punches. Um, he's better with his jab, whether he's just pulling out, just touching it out there, or he's actually, you know, putting in a real jab. I mean, he's landing it pretty much at will, but. I think there's a few more shots that Ezra can get in there. But maybe McIntyre's a little bit more tricky than it seems on the eye from the outside. But I think there's a nice right hand there from, from Ezra. But I think I think Ezra's you know taking this fight. That was a nice left hook there from Lovely little well. left hook from Ezra Taylor. 20 seconds to go in the third. That, that Ezra's just relaxed. He just he has taken his time. He's creeping in slowly. He's he's he's, he's you know he's landing the better shots. Again, just a whisker away with that uppercut, yeah, Denzel. It's, 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 if he does land that, does land that, I think it will hurt McIntyre. Just waiting for people to leave the ring. Fourth round here, four of eight. Ezra Taylor and Joel McIntyre. Oh, Lovely shot, yeah. little body shot snuck in there from the cannon. Nottingham man, 29 years old. Started off at the Bilbra Boxing Club alongside Echo Esman, British welterweight champion. Bit of a resurgence in Nottingham boxing coming up. This man very much a part of that. It 
feels like both fighters are happy in the in these sorts of positions when they're in the clinch. I, yeah, both seem unbothered, you know, completely. being that close in the clinch. They're both throwing punches. The ref's letting them fight as well, so and none, neither of them are complaining. So. Mm. You would, th you would think, just from the style, that Ezra Taylor may be uncomfortable with that and, and that would be sort of Joel McIntyre's wheelhouse. Yeah, but trying to spoil his work yeah. and stuff. But yeah, no, he's comfortable in there. He hasn't complained once about being in that close or being held or anything. Good jab nice there from Ezra. Double jab. Oh, and a nice mm. right hand there. Just letting that right hand go more and more. Oh, just a whisker away there as well. Just gets a tad messy at times. The referee brings them apart. Minute and a half left in the fourth round here. In London at the Ovo Arena Wembley. The third of your YouTube fights that we've got. Ezra Taylor against Joel McIntyre. Eight rounds at light heavyweight. And so far, pretty good job from Ezra the Cannon Taylor, but Joel McIntyre very much in this, very much landing. And Ezra Taylor is trying to land that big uppercut. He I just is. saw you shake your head, Denzel. It was, it was just missed again with it. Just missed by, just by an inch. Winging away oh, on the inside McIntyre there, Joel there. McIntyre. Oh, right hand partially block. And big right hand from Joel McIntyre to get himself out of the corner. And Taylor just just fooling around a little bit with his feet. He does like to box with a little bit of swag. Has a bit of fun in there. He says it's all about enjoying himself. Around 10 seconds left here in the fourth round. Gets through with the right. I mean, you're going to need a, a quite a big referee for, you know, to pull these guys apart when they're probably just holding on for too long. Yeah. Let's just hope the ring doesn't collapse. <laughs> let's, let's, got, let's hope they've got some people underneath just holding the canvas up. <laughs> let's hope so. That'll probably be me later on. To be fair. <laughs> let's see how we get on. Ezra Taylor landing a couple of jabs there. Just perhaps lost his footing. Joel McIntyre just seems to be uh, there's something in his eye oh, where he's just setting right about him a little bit but the right, eye, right hand landed from Ezra Taylor and the jab and the uppercut there this time now it's starting landed, to yeah. land Denzel that uppercut it's just starting to land every now and again now There's that jab again. He's, he, I think his jab worked from, from, from the off, from the first round. His jab's been, his jab's been good. It's been effective. He's a good, clean boxer. He is. At times. They find themselves on the inside again. Up against the ropes. The referee has a look. Doesn't split oh. them. Triple left hook there. And he's opening up here, Ezra Taylor. Joel McIntyre looks at him. I think he's okay, but he is retreating. He is backing up. May just be playing possum. But Ezra Taylor again, I think. Oh, good left hook there from Ezra Taylor. He's closing that gap now. He's, he's, he's starting to land those big shots. The shots that he wasn't landing with a couple of rounds ago are now yeah. beginning to land. giving him something different to look at moving around with the feet had to take a left there though just catching him with a little little check left hook on the inside as Joel McIntyre came in the right hand partially landed and again that jab that jab has been so effective tonight so far for Ezra Denzel and the right hand now following through. McIntyre having some success of his own, just backing Ezra Taylor up there. And 20 seconds left in the fifth round here. 
Nice movement in the corner from the cannon. 10 seconds to go. <laughs> and Ezra Taylor. <laughs> and for a moment they just stand and Lula made it very clear. He said that he respects Joel McIntyre. He said he believes that he's a good fighter. He just believes that he is better. And right now he's showing he is. That's, that, that's another, another nice jab there. Just, pop, just popping McIntyre's head back. Oh, McIntyre tried to come over with that right yeah. hand. Well, that's what he does. That is what he does. But he's, look, Ezra Taylor are getting shown that variety. It's not just jabs to the head. He's jabbing to the body as well, yeah. stabbing him to the body. Good variety to the work here. He's moved his feet well as well, Ezra Taylor. But as always, always needs to be careful. Joel McIntyre has that... Has those counters? He yeah. has that power. He's uh, he's upset fighters before. He actually had a moment, McIntyre, where he thought about retiring. I think he actually announced his retirement after his loss to Miles Shinkwin, but then the bug got him again. He watched Michael McKinson, a fellow Portsmouth man, get back into the sport, have a bit of success, and he thought, you know what? Let's give it another go. And here he is giving it a go against Ezra Taylor. the undercard of Zile Zhang and Joe Joyce and Taylor just having a look at him just the 18 amateur fights for Ezra Taylor he used to think he had 20 odd then he actually checked his card and it was, it was actually 18 he'd been telling people the wrong story but uh, oh, good just right hand I don't there. know if he just lost his foot in there Joel McIntyre he just kind of right. walked into that right hand I think this is where Ezra, Ezra Taylor should have been piling under pressure a bit just from that reaction alone from from McIntyre well he looked uncomfortable yeah I don't know if he lost his footing or if something really landed but Ooh. something just landed there, there from Joel McIntyre and now they're opening up and trading right oh, hands and right big hand. right hand from Ezra Taylor who is starting to find a home for that that left hook has been landing all night too well McIntyre calls himself El Toro which translates to the bull but who is the bull who is the matador tonight a big there's a big left hand in there. Ezra Taylor seemed to shrug it off. Yeah, he could trade a left hand there. Yeah. I think they both had success in this round. Ten seconds to go. There's been a few good trade-ups. There was a moment where Ezra Taylor was just landing a couple of right hands for fun in there. <laughs> McIntyre not going anywhere. A Taylor against Joel. McIntyre it's been an entertaining scrap here that last round in particular round six they did start opening up Denzel they did they did start opening up they started trading shots Taylor started landing some big shots and McIntyre felt like he had to just fire back and yeah they traded some shots I mean this start this round has started off a bit I wouldn't say cagey but slow again but I'm, I'm guessing it will catch fire as, as time goes on in this round Still, that, that, that jab oh, seems nice to be the, the key to all of it. Yeah, no, most definitely. I said that from the beginning. I think he's got a very good jab. I think he's using it well in this fight. And he doesn't really need to use anything else. So the jab is so good, but it'll be nice to see a variety of shots. And we have seen a variety of shots, but some of them are missed by a whisker. Some, some of them have landed clean. And he, he's just taking his time. He's being patient. He hasn't really... He, he hasn't come out of second gear. Yeah. Well, Ezra Taylor says he is obsessed with this sport, says obsession beats talent. And this is a man very much living and breathing this, and getting his chance to shine now on the big stage, taking on quite the challenge so early on in his career. And just crowding his work there, a little Joel McIntyre. They clinch on the inside. On box wreck, 
as, as much as that means on box rec McIntyre is actually rated 122 places above Ezra Taylor oh wow I mean now after this fight Ezra will be <laughs> ranked 122 places higher <laughs> well, you just, now, to right? be yeah. fair you just never know with the algorithm to be honest yeah. on box rec I do see some strange things on there from time to time they're never normally too far off and again yeah. that jab That was a good left foot there, can't I, as McIntyre fell in. McIntyre leading with the right hand there, falling in. Yeah. Ooh. Left Good sneaky open. shots on the inside there from, from Ezra Taylor. Yeah, it's the sort of shots that maybe you'd ex expect from a much more experienced fighter to be sort of yeah. like throwing little shots in like that on the inside. Double right hand just missed by a whisker there. Nice straight right hand there. It just goes to show that, you know, him saying he's obsessed with the sport, I mean, he really means that. I mean, he's... He's, he's learning as much as he can in, in such little time. No, oh, absolutely. Again, gets through with the right hand. Ten seconds left here in the seventh round. And Joel McIntyre, did, and both just backing off, and, he, and he's <laughs> gone after him. Well, here. I mean, it's the eighth round, and he's, he's, he wouldn't blow out a candle. Like, he's, he's yeah. I mean, to be fair, this is only the second time that Ezra Taylor's done eight rounds, that he's heard the bell for, for the eighth round. And the fitness is clearly there. He yeah, he, he looks comfortable. Yeah. Jabbing, moving, dancing. Oh, good shots. Right hand oh, hand. good right hand, right hand Oh, and now he's turned got the his pressure. Attention now Big now right he's turned the pressure. And oh, Ezra Taylor shot. has gone looking for him. Here in the eighth and final oh, good round, two and a half there. minutes left. Needs to still be wary he of, wants those, to stop, yeah, <laughs> of those the counter, of the back. counter, but he wants that stoppage now. Well, well, the good flurry of shots there, landed head and body. I mean, McIntyre's still there. He didn't really back up much, but he's still there. But we certainly got the attention of Joel McIntyre. Yeah, who is now coming forward? I think as Ezra Taylor just catches a breath to come back again. And ties him up. Two minutes left in the eighth and final round. Joel McIntyre from the Lee Park estate in Portsmouth. Same as Tony Oki. He's just again lands that, lands that right. McIntyre just shrugs him off on the inside. under a minute and a half left here in the final round uh, you feel at this point Joel McIntyre is probably going to need a knockout to win here almost definitely oh good job there from wonderful Ezra. Chad really s stopped him in his tracks oh goodness lovely me. Left, Big left, left, left hand there he threw a little left left uppercut and then come back with a left hook good shots minute to go in the eighth round Ezra Taylor on course for the biggest win of his oh, career slip. slips that jab <laughs> <Probably> <laughs> the left foot. Oh. It's, it's the 8th round you think he'd be tired he's, he's getting into his rhythm yeah, he, needs, he needs another 2 rounds <laughs> I think so I think when, when, when they next step him up to 10 rounds to then 12 rounds I think he'll be absolutely fine 30 seconds Most left definitely. probably start seeing you know, the, the better part of him as the rounds go on Oh, great shots there from Ezra Taylor. Lovely body shot. Again, needs to be wary. Lovely body shot. And oh, he's, he's got, got his he's attention. Got hurt now. And Joel McIntyre is clinging on. on. I think he's going to see this out, though. Ten seconds to go here, but he is definitely hurt oh, in the shot. corner oh, there. Wow. Oh, and Ezra buddy. Taylor is opening great up. The shots. referee is having a look at this. And the referee oh, has seen enough. Like and Ezra Taylor, with just seconds to go, has stopped Joel McIntyre. What a statement from the cannon. He said that he could stop this man. He has stopped this man. He has been telling the world that he is next in line. Here's Thomas yeah. Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 59 seconds of round number eight. Our referee in charge, John Latham, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Ezra, the Cannon Taylor. 
Well, you heard it there. 